Take on any threat. Run any risk. And face any challenge. Except one. Cody Banks. We're the CIA. We spent ten million dollars training this kid, and we did not teach him how to talk to women. Do you... I... I was. What a freak! I'm a junior secret agent working for the CIA. Whatever. Get ready for the next generation. This mission depends on you. That's my mission. I have to get close to her. Of secret agent. Sweet. You did get him his license? No. Nope. Frankie Muniz, Hillary Duff. You, you're different. Name's Banks. Cody Banks. Agent Cody Banks. So you're okay? Are you sure? Well, in that case, young man, you are so grounded. Molly Gunn was a rock and roll princess who led a charmed life. This one's for you. Can I have him for my birthday? Molly, focus. Until reality. Your electric has been canceled. Who pays your bills? Bob. Gave her a wake up call. Bob Kapowski disappeared. With a hundred million dollars. Now the girl who never grew up. So what do I do about money? Get a job? is about to face her biggest challenge. Oh my God, you're my new nanny? <gasps> the agency must really be getting desperate. Give me that plate. Oops, no, sorry, you might infect it. No! <gasps> Get a brew. I am employed by your mother. Do you see her anywhere? News flash. You're working for me. I quit! Swinging door. I don't know what's been going on between you and my daughter. But you're right, because you don't know your own daughter. MGM Pictures presents... I can't act like a kid anymore. Don't leave like this. Brittany Murphy. What's so great about being a grown-up anyway? So I can turn out like you? You're scared. Dakota Fanning. That's kind of harsh. It's a harsh world. In a comedy about a grown-up who needed to grow up. We are going to sit in giant teacups and spin round until we puke. Are you insane? And the kid who taught her how. Tell me! You and I, we're going to be friends. Grown-ups never stay friends with kids. I don't see any grown-ups around here. I do. Uptown Girls. Guys in search of a perfect wave. Wicked! Three guys Whoa. in search of a clue. If you want to pull chicks, you got to know what's flying, what's whacked. Huh? Come again? And a beach full of babes. Oh, God, yes, take me. Just take me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The party never stops in Board Heads, coming soon on DVD and VHS. It'll be skegging. Starring Bronson Pinchot. You may want to take notes. Loretta Sweat. Aren't they beautiful? They're brand new. And Baywatch's Tracy Bingham. You must be very horny. Sexy. Yeah. Silly. Surfing and swimming in butter. The most fun you can have in the sea and on the shore. Looks like he's found a water sport he likes better. When it comes to summer fun, grab your board and head to the beach. Surfing, partying, and pulling chicks. Board heads. Stuff, Stuff that really, really matters. matters. Coming soon on DVD and VHS. If you've ever felt different, how would you wear a dress to your prom, dude? I don't get that. Of course you don't get that. If you've ever felt alone. I thought you had to go to Weight Watchers camp this summer. We compromised and had a jaw wired shut. You can hardly tell. If you've ever felt like you don't belong. Buddy Miller, sports counselor. We have a sports counselor. Think fast. There's a place you can go. Ow. A guy like you could have a really lucky summer in a place like this, huh? 
starting to get that idea. Where you'll fit right in. You're only a few pounds heavier than Ellen. I think I know your sister, Cinderella. <laughs> Everybody's got a part they'd kill for. You sabotaged my makeup! I did not. Sit down. You are a scary little girl. And all you need to bring is your dreams. I know you're scared. It's not that. My parents are here. Well, it's about time they met their daughter. Here in the dark, I stand before you. When I was eight years old, I asked my father to send me to acting class. And you know what he said? You're not even the prettiest one in your class. I think you're very pretty. IFC Films presents a comedy about drama. Ow! Fiddler on the roof. It's colorblind casting. What do you want me to do? Do we look like any Jews you know? Who are you people? What planet did you beam down from? Camp. This October, Earth testing, testing is going to the dogs. Ellen, you hear me? I... Sit. Speak. Ah! You can really understand me. Yep. Can I have a cookie? No, wait. Ten cookies? Can I have twenty cookies? I have come here on an important mission from the Homestar, and if you don't straighten up, we're all leaving Earth forever. What? So you expect me to believe there's a planet out there made up of only dogs? My great-grandfather told me he had to pass through Uranus to get here. But he's really, really smart, Dad. Everyone thinks they've got the smartest dog in the universe. Play dead? A dog who never needed a friend. I do like you. I'm just not used to all the customs here. And a boy who never had one. Dogs here are called man's best friend. Are about to go on an adventure that's out of this world. You know how to drive? He knows how to crash. He just took off like a 747. Your dog's a freak like you. Get him, boys. <laughs> You are invited to join Hubble. Good boy. I think you're a good boy, too. Wilson. Can you teach us how to work a can opener? Barbara Ann. Can we just talk about how pretty I am? Nellie. I'm not shaking because I'm nervous. I'm shaking because I'm excited. And Shep. It may look to you like people are in charge, but you don't see us picking up their poop. Good boy. Turkey, gravy, um, mashed potatoes, of course, and cranberry sauce, which is easy. I mean, just open the can. Oh, sweetie. I like it from the can. Nobody likes it from the can. It's just completely selfish of her, asking us to come all the way to New York. Some families do whatever it takes to remain close. They're probably not even going to come. OK, everybody, let's move it! And then there are families who know better. We're going to have a very nice time. You don't actually believe that. It's possible, I think, yes. No! No! Does anybody have a stove by tomorrow? Try Wayne in 5D. He's got a new stove. Are you Wayne? Wayne with the new stove. What makes her think she can cook all of a sudden? I don't remember her ever being in the kitchen. She's met this new guy. Bobby! Apparently, this guy Bobby reminds her of me. This is a nice thing you're doing. You must have a special relationship. We're very close. For days, I've been trying to think of nice April memories, and I can only come up with one. She was just gazing out the window, and she said, Oh, mother, don't you just love every day? That was me. What about the crayon drawing she did of the Mayflower, the one that you had framed? That was me, too. Oh, cut it out. You don't get along, do you? Not at all, never have. <laughs> Do 
Just off the top of my head, I have one. She was sleeping. She was wearing a pink nightgown. That was me. <laughs> Kidding. You've never been in love. Yeah, well, it does things to you. Once there was one day when everybody seemed to know they needed each other. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of April. Welcome to Krispy Kreme. May I take your order? Just Maybe. remember, everybody, April was cooking. We'll need an extra dozen glaze. high-end retail shoppy experience. Her nanny used to try to take her to Baby Gap, but she'd just cry and cry. Mm -hmm. She was a professional shopper at age three. Oh, wow. Um, Remember when she was on the cover of Seventeen? She had so much potential back then. I mean, look at her. She could have been a playmate by now. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's a lawyer. That's way better. Why? Mm -hmm. There oh, she is. You always said she has the perfect, perfect shaped, shaped head, head for, for a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that slime dog. Ugh. I just want to say it was so nice of you guys to make this for Elle's wedding shower. I mean, I can't scrapbook worth a damn. I took a class on it at community college. She got a B. Plus, oh. <laughs> the day she passed her L set. I mm. swallowed some of that silly string. It wouldn't be the first time. Oh, look at that. Her first day at Harvard. Unbelievable. Awesome. The bend and snap! Oh, <laughs> I love that. I did it last night naked. You did not. Yep, I busted a window. Oh, my God, there's Bruiser's first highlights. Mm. Is this the key to her first office at the firm? Yeah. Remember that Caribbean day court? It was genius. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look, so there important. she is with Congresswoman Rudd. That's when they started the Harvard Alumni Women's Event. Yeah. That's two kick-ass women. Mm. I like them. I really like them. Oh, oh. The first day they met. Oh. Emmett loves her already. You can see it in his eyes. Emmett and Elle, they're truly Romeo and Juliet without the dying. <laughs>